Hey everyone and welcome back to Wide Open Water. I'm Camden Droppo and today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to modify a Acme Castmaster spoon for ice fishing. There it is. So the Acme Castmaster spoon essentially comes in a 1 24th ounce spoon all the way up to 3 8 I believe. And it comes in a variety of colors from gold, silver to green and silver and even now they have these, this tiger color. And I'm a big fan of these tiger colors just because they glow and they also have the gold in the back so you get the bright colors and you also get the flash. But the colorization is not what I'm talking about today in this video. Today I am talking about the hook modification. So the spoon essentially comes with a treble hook there. It's just attached to a single split ring. And what I'm proposing is that you attach a dropper spoon or a dropper hook. So essentially you have the chain there and this hook. This is a, a dropper chain from VMC. Uh, you can do any other form of stinger hook, dropper chain, but uh, today this is just what I had. So essentially each of these dropper chains are gonna have a little snap that will attach to any lure. And what I've done is I've removed the treble hook there and just snapped it straight to the split ring. What I really like about this setup is that with the rattle spoon, I can sit there and shake the bait and still get the rattle. And sometimes you're with the dropper spoon, your bait is not gonna move as much, so it'll, it will just stay right there. And I usually glob this hook up with tons of bait. I put a ton of spikes, uh, wax worms, or minnows, or a minnow head on there. And essentially, the fish is able to come up and slurp in the bait. It won't feel the weight of the lure, but the rod will sense the bite and you'll be able to get a really good hook set on the fish. This setup, specifically, I found out uh, while I was fishing in Iowa last year for yellow bass. I was using my forceps in probably sub-zero temperatures and after using uh, the Acme Castmaster spoon and it was actually this color here, the 112 blue color, uh, the treble hook essentially broke and I wanted a quick fix just to be able to keep fishing and this modification was just a spur of the moment thing and it ended up being a really great idea and it helped me catch more yellow bass and it's also helped me catch nice perch, a couple of walleye and even crappie. So hopefully this tip works for you guys and let me know if you guys think of any fun modifications you want me to try doing in the future or if you just have something cool that you've done to a random lure. Until next time though, I'm Cam Drop with Wide Open Water and I'll catch you guys later.